soldiers crossing borders, weapons in hand following orders, but don't say war. A bomb falls on a flat from which most people have fled, those who haven't are. But don't say war. Journalists defend their land with pens in hand, describe what they see without saying war. You can't say war, you can't say war, says a warmonger man who no longer can put peace over power and heart over hate. David against Goliath is what they say. Defiance against the odds is a special kind of metal. To bleed for your blood is a special kind of battle. And then to write, to document and fight with truth on your side. Deciding to stay because you feel in your core the world needs to know this is war. And when building the barricades in their city that they see shatter, they say they are with more but we are with better. They are with more but we are with better. Don't say war, he says. Okay, then we will say peace. Loudly and together, we say we know better peace for those who do not fight but defend peace for those who keep letting the truth flow from their hands. We say democracy, we say hold the line, we will win with our minds. While reporting from the ground, we say peace, we say peace, surely and profound. The written word remains, journalists stay, put on their helmet and their vest and keep watching, keep writing to hold you to account. And if not between the wreckage you left, then from exile. We have to make it worth their while. That could be us, we could have their backs and their chests, keep them going, keep them safe, let us support, let us be brave. Like the woman who said to a Russian soldier, go home to your mother. If not, then put these seeds in your pocket, then flowers will grow on your grave. Let us be brave.